so it's a long game. It is long. It took me about a week of playing it. That's good. Yeah, exactly. But like my thing is I don't play a lot. Like I played a ton on the two weekend weekdays weekend when it came out. What am I trying to say? On Saturday and Sunday, I played it a ton. Yeah. Monday, you know, I got home kind of, you know, late. I'll eat my dinner. And then I'll play it. So, two hours maybe. Through my, through the week. And then more hardcore. Um, but the game was uh, really good, dude. Um, I really liked it. It was a long game. Um, it had different story elements. Um, the I really liked the design of the Mons, like that's that's huge to me. Is like, how do they look? But do you like any of the star? I think all the starters are ugly yeah. now. Like the finishing of okay. product. Right. Okay. Do you agree? Um, I don't love them immediately because the other ones I like. The last gen, I like the starters, and I and I and I like these starters, but. I like the final evolutions for the most part of the other ones. I feel like Greninja. But this gen, I don't like. I feel like Greninja ones. was the last cool looking water type. <coughs> for a starter. Yeah, that's fair. I think. For a water type, yeah, probably, maybe. Because he had Empoleon. But, but that's a high bar to live to. People really fuck with Greninja. But it pulled out of school too. It wasn't like amazing, but it was cool. But that was Gen Four. Uh, that dude who you said is Gen Six. Is it Swampert? Yeah, so Swampert's tight. Um, he's the bit okay. Debatably the best. Everyone's favorite water type starter. People are probably gonna gravitate towards Greninja. Yeah. Um, but I think the argument can be made for Mudkip and that line. Squirtle's cool too. Um, Squirtle is my least favorite. What? I mean, I just don't cool level. Start. I don't like Squirtle. He's just a blue turtle that stands up. Like I'm not really that impressed. Yeah, Charizard's a little lizard that stands up, but like he's got a cute little fire on his tail. He goes, he just does all this stuff. But besides the stars, I will agree that I think a lot of the Pokemon look cool. Like in in this game, look cool. Yeah, and I think that's the big thing. Um, the game plays really bad. Really? As in what? As in what? Like the graphical errors that occur, or like the the bad frame rate. Um, sometimes it's really empty in an area, and then like there's just a ton of mons and other ones. Like it's kind of hit or miss. Um, I think it's because Pokemon is so profitable that they're rushing these games out way too quick. I think, well, part of that, but I think it's so profitable that they understand we can cut corners and it's still going to make us money, hell of money. so much money. A ton of money. The most money we've ever thought about seeing, as long as we keep doing what we're doing. Yeah. So the, then the problem is complacency and not having anyone to push them. So, actually, as of late, there's been a couple pushes of, like, other pokemon S games that have came out. Are they good? Like, what, Digimon? Like, what? Well, Digimon seems to be getting a little better. But, um, but I don't remember. Like, Temtem, another one. One of these YouTubers is making, like, his own, like, Pokemon game or something. Interesting. Um, but, yeah, there seems to be more competition yeah. now. Which, competition leads to, you know... Better growth. Innovation. Um, so, we'll see how it goes, but there seems, the trajectory seems to be up. What do you think about terrestrialization? I understand what it OP. is. OP. Really? OP. So One of the best things they could have done for the game. Since May Evolution or Better Mega? Mega. I, dude, I fucking love Mega. Megas, though. That, I'm so biased. That's what I wanted with I'm Sinnoh. So with the Sinnoh remake, I really Amen, wanted them to bring that back. Amen, Malachi. Amen. And then, well, this is my thing. With the game. The game is based in Spain. Okay? Okay. Uh, the Eastern Peninsula. That's what that's called. Um, it's it's in Spain. Do you know what's to the northeast of Spain? What? France. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Kalos. Mega. Mega, <laughs> dude. So. They could have done it. So. We're thinking if there's DLC, bro, 
if they let us go to Kalos, uh, dude, that'd be fucking crazy. Um, not that that'd be its own game, but like Kalos gets no love. What do you, so, what do you think about the? I wouldn't be ruled or surprised if they made it its own DLC. I forget what it's called. The new Pokemon, like how um, Salamence got a new form, like that dumb types. Uh, the Paradox Pokemon. Yeah. What do you think about those designs? Um, I really don't like the futuristic ones that much. Besides yeah, the Venomoth, not Venomoth. Who's the bug? It's kind of legendary, kind of. But oh, oh, I know, I know what you mean. Yeah. Um. Oh my goodness! Wow, I can't remember Volcarona. Yeah, that's the only one I like. That's the futuristic kind that look cool. Yeah. But the rest kind of look lame to me. Like Tyranitar, the ruined Tyranitar, that ruined um, Hydreigon to me. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I agree. No, I, I agree, man. Just because I don't like the idea of... They all be metal? What, they what have to be... Steel. A, yeah, a metal-looking AI computer-based Pokemon. Like, I don't like that. I agree. Um, but um, the, the past Pokemon, they go hard. But I knew when, when I was going into this, I'm like, but I feel like competitively, though, like... These future ones are probably going to be really good. That's what I'm saying about terrestrialization. I feel like that's going to change um, professional play a lot. Yes. So right now, the the fossil, the the paradox Pokemon, you cannot use them competitively, like in the VGC. I don't think. Um, but Terra's fair game. Like Terra, you're good. Like you can Terra any Mon, um, which is like like it really could change a lot. I feel. Um, because if you have this bulky sweeper um, who can restore his health and he's only weak to grass and then he terras into, you know, an electric like, or a, a water, what am I trying to say here? I don't know. But it's just game changing. It's just game changing, dude. What do you think with the legendaries but not the two mains? Like the, um, the other legendaries there. Oh, wow. You don't know about that? They okay. Kinda, they kind of look weird. It's not the ice one. Okay. So you, uh, the the chi the Chinese looking ones. Yeah. Um, man, dude, I, I I think I like the idea a lot, but yeah, they're really weird. Yeah, like there's one about a dish, yeah. like a dish bowl looking thing. Like I really like when Pokemon pushes the boundary, but I think they're just they make try to make it just kind of foreign yeah. and weird, which isn't my favorite. But I mean, I like. I like them. I like that little fish, dude. Because what appeals? But to I just wish some of them were better competitive, from what I hear. What appealed to me as a kid growing up with Pokemon was just design. Like they looked cool visually. That's what I'm saying. And now it kind of all of them kind of look weird, except for like maybe Cerulege and the other one that looked dope. <laughs> His other uh, yeah evolution. Yeah. yeah Don't yeah, you think? Yeah. Uh, Armor Rouge. Um, I mean, I like. I'm really biased. I like Pokemon. Even the ugly ones? So I tend to like even the ugly ones. Because sometimes the ugly ones are just good competitively. Right? Um, so I'm okay, I'm okay with ugly ones. But the thing is just, it's if it's worth it, if they have a cool shiny, if they have a really weird niche that I just really enjoy, um, then that makes me like them more. Um, but no, the whole com the, the competitive scene is just going to be way more different now. And, yeah, um, very excited. <laughs> uh, very excited about it. Yeah, it's going to be really cool. It's going to be super awesome. Cool. That's the episode for today. 